8,160 pounds. This is a big two-slide bunkhouse sprinter here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Probably just about 35 feet tip to tail, including tongue and bumper. Um, this uh, represents the, uh, I guess you call it beginning of the Keystone laminated lineup from 2009. Um, it's a floor plan that has been in existence for a long time, continues to be in existence because it's awesome. This was built about two years before outside kitchens became available, so you won't find that on here. Now, other than a couple little cosmetic things that really aren't that big of a deal, like you can obviously see that the decals had seen better days, and but that's a cosmetic thing, you know. That's not a big functional thing. I don't see anywhere there's been big leaks or problems with this RV. Um, during our um, pre-acceptance in in inspection, if you will, where we look at it, you know, because you figure if, when you buy an RV, you want to see it before you sign the dotted line. Well, we're no different, obviously, except that we buy about a thousand RVs a year. We just call it a trade, but really, we're buying your camper. We noticed that the awning fabric was, eh, roughish. There's there's a new one um, already coming. So um, after the time of the filming and pictures and everything on this thing, we're gonna have new awning fabric put on her because she's in good shape and we want it to be that way. So if you don't care about a couple little cosmetic decal things, you're gonna get a great deal on a big bunkhouse model here. How you doing, ma'am? Yes, oh, my wife says I'm all right, I'm not so sure. Oh. <laughs> so. Well, you've been trying to get rid of them for years, right? This is your chance, run free. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that, uh, video viewers. I uh, wanted to, uh, I, I greet people when they walk by. I don't like ignoring folks or putting them on call waiting here at our dealership. So uh, before outside kitchens, here's what you got. You got this big extra storage compartment out here under one of the bunks, which is great. You know, it has a lot of good benefits to it. And that direct entry bathroom has always been a signature calling card of this floor plan. It's one of the things that I think has always been the hallmark to its success. So uh, you don't have to track dirt through the whole RV. Um, you can get to everything right there. It is a little drizzly, so pardon me while I just reclose this door here real quick. All the latches and everything are nice and smooth, too. Enclosed heated underbelly. We have aluminum frame laminated walls. Um, there are uh, stick-built portions to this coach. This is kind of a hybrid construction methodology where it is laminated, but it's not a lightweight, which that's one of those things you don't see uh, as frequently um, in the travel trailer market as you do the fifth wheel market. But just because something has fiberglass skin doesn't necessarily mean it's made to be lighter. Um, hide a, oh, my battery's blinking at me. Hide-a-bed sleeper sofa here and the slide, all the windows open for ventilation. A true big 42-inch deep U-dinette, a big true king U-dinette. And I can tell that because it's a 36-inch deep slide and you can see about half a foot of it sticks out. 42-inch deep classic U-dinette slide out. You actually have watched a lot of manufacturers uh, skimp and cheat on their uh, U-dinettes as years have gone past. Central air and heat, pretty respectable amount of kitchen storage here. Like you've got your drawers, all the space under the sink is wide open, even um, drawer under the stove, which is not just a drop down knuckle buster. And a nice big pantry here. A lot of manufacturers who build this layout, they'll actually just leave this open, which don't get me wrong, more counter space is nice. But man, cabinets. I mean, there's only so much cabinet space in an RV. You could always find a different place to set something down, you know. Um, inside, it's in pretty good condition. Like I said, I haven't seen anything in here that scares me. Big, big linen uh, cabinet here in the, I guess you call it the hallway, um, you know, between the, uh, across from the bathroom and leading back to the bunkhouse area with a nice extra bonus drawer down there too. Like they could have made this just a giant closet, but instead they made it a little more functional. Um, I can, you know, I can actually see where, I, I can see vacuum cleaner tracks and stuff in here. I can see where somebody actually kept this thing clean. Um, the, uh, no leaks around the skylight or anything. We already kind of looked at the direct entry bathroom from the other side. Now, this bunk up here and the lower bunk on the opposing side are what I call 50% bigger, uh, like big kid bunks. Good kid storage in here, too. And if you, on a rainy day like today, if you're stuck inside the camper, you're going to like that entertainment center. Now, this is built with a trundle bed design. However, I do not see the third mattress. I don't know the details or the story there. So instead, what you have is a nice storage drawer. So you've got like a huge bed size storage drawer underneath of that bed. Now, this can, uh, the overhead bed that's 300 pound rated, it flips up during the day so that you can use this down here like a, a lounge during the day. And that's what allows us the nice little view of our second entertainment center over here, which is kind of a cool hallmark of this floor plan. You know, I've always, I've always felt you start looking down in like the heat vents 
you can see if they're clean or dirty. These are pretty clean. That tells me these people kept on top of their RV. But the fact that this thing does not have a whole bunch of leaks and problems is also testament to that. And the fact that they left all the original factory electronics and everything in place is another testament to the quality of the previous owner. It's another good indicator. People who, I call them scavengers, they peel all the extra loose things they possibly can out of a camper before trading it in. They're the ones that tended to never take care of it in the first place. So DVD, CD, stereo, inside, outside speakers, um, auxiliary input. We, you know, your TV can spin around to face the bedroom. It is mirrored on the back as well. We have sliding pocket privacy doors and, a, you know, a pretty generic, simple, but effective front bedroom. It does everything you need it to do. There you have it. If you're looking for a big bunkhouse on a used RV budget, give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.